What is up guys, hope you're all good. On Saturday I did a video with limiters and obviously that was about mastering but then I realised you can't do mastering on your beat if you haven't mixed it well and you're happy with that. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm going to be talking to you kind of how I go about mixing my beats and you saw the title, we're going to be creating a mix template that I'm going to put for you guys to download in the description so go check that out. I'll just get into it and explain it. When you open Logic, it's obviously going to ask you to create your first track and for you guys that might be a MIDI track because you're going to make your beats in Logic but for me because I'm making my beats on the MPC, I'm going to put an audio track so that I can drag my audio file in, mix all the different tracks like kick, snare in Logic. I usually start off from the drums so that I can kind of have a basis to walk the beat around and also those are going to be the main part of the track so I want the melody and everything like that to kind of fit in around drums so track one to five or one to seven is gonna be the drum, so let's five drum tracks. Five, like that. And I color my tracks down here on the tab so that you can kind of easily scan across the mixer and see what you're working with. I like to color my drums red, so you right click and go assign channel strip color. Let's go red here, and that changes the bottom to red. Kick, snare, hi-hat. Those are the main three things, but then I usually layer a drum break kind of in each ear to make it wider so that it's in like proper stereo and really fills out the whole spectrum. So I'm gonna put break left, break right. I want all of my drums in mono. So you just go clicking here, brings it down to one track. And because this is left, I want that panned all the way to the left and right to the right, obviously. And the reason I have my drums in mono is because generally if the kick and stuff like that is spaced out, it's gonna take up too much space in your headphones and it doesn't sound good if you've got sub sounds going on hard pan to each ear and also in kind of the old school mixes that a lot of people use with the MPC you can only have mono channels and so if you wanted a stereo channel for the melody you'd have to plug two in at the top and that would obviously take up two channels so a lot of people just have their drums in mono. The very first thing I'm going to put again we go into utility on every single one. Not all my tracks are going to start off being the same volume. Then the next thing, I'm going to want a compressor. Only on kick and the snare because hi-hats and stuff like that might not need their own personal compressor. Because now we've controlled the peaks, I now want to go onto EQ and stuff like that. I quite like this EQ. Sony Q, it's free. It's quite cool looking, very simple controls. Obviously I'm not gonna use this on stuff like the melodies, but for kicks, you know, it gives you a nice bit of click up here. I think it's quite good and, you know, low pass if you want kind of the, the J Diller kind of vibe on your kick like that. On the break, I'm, I might put a more complicated EQ, maybe a like tube EQ here on the left and on the right. I want the output going to a bus. So we go output, bus, and then bus one. It'll come here and we're gonna name that from bus and I always put on my drums a master compressor uh, I'm also gonna put an EQ graphic EQ for my drum bus that's about it really if the track needs it I might put another plugin on there generally that's what it's gonna be so once we've done that I now want to get on to stuff like the melody I'm gonna have a melody so that's one bass line maybe a lead horns I don't really want to go over 15 for tracks because you want to leave space for people to rap on and it just gets a bit complicated when you've got a huge channel mixer if you're not making full tracks with vocals where you need ad-libs and doubling up stuff like that. But I'm going to keep the melody in stereo because that will have all the highs but the bass I want to have in mono like that. Melody I'm, I'm definitely going to have a compressor to catch any peaks going on there. Horns they don't really need a compressor but that does remind me one more thing I like to have my compressors and stuff like that all in one line so actually I'm going to move this tube EQ down here so that I can see what's going on. And for the low pass section, one of my new favorite plugins which I'm gonna talk about in a video later is this noise filter one. If you want some rumble, put the drive up, stuff like that. I'm gonna create a melody, bass, and low pass bus so that if all of my melodies are too loud than the drums, I can easily bring that down. Same as if the drums are too loud compared to the melody, I can easily bring all the drums down. You notice that I haven't got many effects. That's because I like to add my effects in buses. So the, if I have to add another track in and I end up using loads of reverb or something like that, I can control it easily with a bus. So that's what we're gonna do here. Now, this is bus three and I put it in stereo. Go into space designer. 
can I have like a just big thing that has no pre-delay then I'm also gonna put on just a normal EQ actually up here cut out the lows reverb on lows doesn't sound good that is good to go we can rue anything we want there I'm just gonna take this off for the time being because I'm not using it if we did have um, reverbs on everything we could send it to it like that and then if you click up here sends on faders you get the fader here and you can add more reverb there if you want. Reverb isn't the only bus that I'm gonna have, I'm also gonna put on a delay. So I'm gonna put on two delays. So I'm gonna have these in mono as well. And I'm gonna have one eighth going to the left ear and a quarter going to the right ear. So those are my buses there, these are my output buses. These are my effects buses, drum bus, melody bus, and if I did have vocals, I'd hope I had a vocal bus. But then these will go into the stereo out. Uh, I'm thinking, you know, is there any, is there anything else that I want to have a bus for that I'm going to use? Oh yeah, I might add a chorus bus to put on things like the lead and the horns. I like chorus because it's kind of, it doesn't sound as bad as phaser if you get it wrong. And it's good for if you've got stuff like choirs and backing vocals and stuff like that. Have them mix at 100 and we can play with the rate depending on what track I'm gonna have. You might not mix all your beats like this, but it's quite cool to see how kind of buses work and not using a plugin on every track. So to save this, once you've set this up, so that you can use it over and over again, I'm gonna go File, Save as Template. Mix template like that, and then we're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed that, I hope you found that helpful. If you're new around here, obviously subscribe, turn the post notifications on, all that, so you always know when I post a video. And again, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.